Cities care about their water because water is central to where cities are being built, where cities are located, and we know that for thousands of years. The science and our lived experience are unequivocal. Climate change is causing major changes to the frequency of our monsoons, it's changing the intensity of our storms, and it's making water that we need to nourish our bodies, to supply our food systems, and to keep our industries moving more and more unpredictable. Cities need to work on water resilience because water offers an opportunity. And if cities understand that water is not just a threat or a shock that is experienced because of a drought or increased rainfall, they can create solutions that make cities more livable. That's why the Resilient Cities Network cares about urban water resilience. We've worked with cities on almost every continent on water solutions, and we are ready to bring these practices to cities around the world and give them a voice on a global stage so that they can get the support they need to build water systems resilience. Cape Town is an increasingly dry part of the world. A couple of years ago, we had a, a really serious, very severe multi-year drought. It really took Cape Town to the edge of uh, being one of the first major cities in the world ever to run out of fresh water. We called it our day zero uh, crisis, and it really was existential. We managed to get through that by cutting down dramatically on consumption, more than 55%. Since then, we've seen that resident consumption has not shot back up to previous bad habits. So there's been a fundamental change in the way that people respect water. Cities solve. They are agile and they have the scale to deliver. So we need to give cities a voice. My city actually cares for water because number one is Surat uh, uh, doubles its population every decade. The second uh, important thing is that the city limit has expanded four times since 2001. We are the only city in India which is selling sewage water by processing it in secondary and tertiary level, being recycled and given industrial grade uh, water to the industries and we are generating 140 crores out of this exercise. In fact, uh, uh, all the cities must strive not to consider the waste as a waste but waste as wealth for our sustainable future. Water is an opportunity that can help them to transition into a sustainable future, but also is essential to an urban transformation that we want to see around the world. We are a very low-lying coastal city, which many, many years ago was built on a swamp. So we drained a swamp, built a city, the consequences of that are very real today with vulnerability to flooding. As a result, we built large retention basins, which uh, mostly look like beautiful parks, but when it rains, they hold a lot of water, which we can hold back and then release into the rivers after the rain subsides. So we've made huge investments and as a result, people are now able to be less exposed to having their homes flooded. The city of New Orleans is a coastal city and 17 years ago, uh, we were struck by Hurricane Katrina. It was one of the deadliest and most expensive natural disasters in American history. We're building green infrastructure across various projects in New Orleans. And what that does is help us naturally retain water and it decreases the amount of sediment that flows out of the city. And this is something that other cities are gonna to have to learn to do. Because of climate change, we're now exporting that expertise to other cities across North America. Investing in water is like a catalyst, a lever for sustainable development and climate action. So if you invest in water in your cities, you really make them resilient, sustainable and equitable. Water is very important for a city like Rotterdam. 
because we are a delta city and 85% of our city is up to minus seven meters below sea level. We are very well protected by dikes, levees and storm surge barriers. But rainfall is a, is a big problem because it falls on the other side of the dike. We have to pump it all out to keep the city dry. We really have to adapt our city to cope with that. And I think we can do it in a way that's better for the city. With more green, make it more attractive also for the citizens. We need our cities to share their best practices, to share them with cities who have those common challenges so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel and to ensure that no city feels that they have to address water stress alone. Bringing that voice of cities to the UN summit is going to be of critical importance because the urban agenda, when it comes to water and sustainability and climate, needs to be heard through concrete commitments. There will not be a negotiated outcome, but a water action agenda. We are calling on our partners to make the best of our collective practice, to make the best of our collective resources, and to invest in remaking the future.